Hello, my name's Peter Engelhart, and I'm just about to be interviewed on Prosper's online prosperity show and look forward to seeing you on it. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've brought you the brand master himself, Peter. Peter, how are you doing, my man? Yeah, great, great. Really good. Fantastic. Now, obviously, everybody uh, that's in the audience is people that are trying to grow their business, um, you know, so that their business can be profitable and enjoyable. But you need to be known by your customers and your customers need to know why they should buy specifically from yourself. Now, half the time, all of that happens through branding. And that's the reason why Peter has come up with an online tool that is called Plan to Brand, which basically works for a new a growing or plateaued business that is in need of some sort of direction. So this helps um, you know people get to know you, like you, and trust you, or even figure out why they should be doing business with you. Now, Peter, tell us a little bit about your brand and how you all get got started with this. Uh, okay, look, I um I've had a sort of design or uh, web company for the past. 30 years now and um, certainly since about the year 2000 and onwards I've been doing a lot of web development work uh, a lot of social media inbound marketing was called back then uh, which is now content marketing so dealing with hundreds of small businesses and over that time I think um, it sort of became apparent to me that every business coming in and asking me for help with a website or whatever hadn't really quite um, answered the question why someone should buy from them and not the competition. They, I, I felt that they were hoping that a new website was going to be that breakthrough or that solution. Uh, and then they'd come back a few years later and want Facebook or, you know, help with LinkedIn or something else. And, and um, I, I had dealt with a lot of multinational companies in my previous life and I realized that they hadn't done the fundamental thinking of uh, what their brand stands for, all right? The foundational work, I'll call it. They are uh, so many businesses today just start because they can, because we've got the tools, the internet, you know, you can Google anything and, and it's not hard to start a business. But what that leaves them doing when they quickly start a business and follow some sort of passion is that they tend to be tactic driven and they jump from one tactic to another. And I felt a need to sort of go back to the grassroots of um, their brand and help them build from the ground up because I, I really believe that Marketing will only work when the brand provides the inspiration. And, you know, you get these multinational companies out there, these great brands, and they, and they, don't, they don't feel even a blip in their trading, you know, during an economic downturn. You know, the um, Nikes of the world will continue trading and making money. And, and all, this, all of, you know, the small brands like you and me, and we really feel, you know, the, the hard times and it's tough for everyone right now. And we're all battling for space, for eyeballs online, et cetera, et cetera. And we're all told to produce content and we're all told to get a website and produce video. And there's this noise out there. And unless you sort of really stand for something, unless you're really challenging your industry, unless you really have a point of difference, that's, that's where we're heading, unless you have a point of difference and you can answer that question why someone should buy from you and not the competition, you're going to be floating around in a sea of, you know, red. And um, I started a workshop quite a number of years ago, which was called Differentiate or Differentiate to Dominate. And I um, took that sort of all around Australia and it, it got quite good response. And over the years, we built it out, we improved it, we added more and then finally I built it into an online program so people can instead of coming to see me do a workshop, they can do it online. And uh, it's more than an e-course. It's sort of like a web app. It's, a, it's an e-course on steroids. It's, it's interactive and um, 
got hundreds of examples in there and uh, you sort of become a master of your own brand if you if you do the course. And, I mean, the interesting thing, Trevinger, is I've been watching a lot of your um, 2 o'clock um, Facebooks and everything you say is exactly what my course in one way, shape or form touches on. You know, you're, you're nailing it out there. And um, so I guess my tool is just another potential path for people to understand their brand. Because I think before they come to a person like you, they should have thought about a lot of these things. You know, what is their purpose? What is their point of difference? What are their target markets, pain points? You know, what is their position in the market what is their brand promise what mind share do they want to own and and this program while challenging takes people through those steps absolutely well thank you so much for that uh i have you know taken a peek on one of um the the courses that i mean not the courses but one of the uh, presentations that you do and like you say, it really is sort of aligned because people buy from those they know, like, and trust. And for you to create that uh, within a business, it's, it's, it's the strategy that you have to put in place from day one. And um, having a quick look around your website, you do mention that about 60% of small businesses in Australia close within the first three years. And taking you back to what you just said earlier on, um, it's all because... Um, they just start because, you know, the bar to entry has been lessened because anyone with a smartphone and a pair of uh, sweatpants can start a business today. So thank you so much for uh, putting that in perspective. Now, your tool, at what point at business, um, you know, startup, is it needed um, or does it come into play uh, when, when somebody is, is in the thought process or when they've already started and they've already gotten a bit of traction or right at the beginning so that they can surely make sure that their strategy is exactly what they are after for their business? Look, I think um, I find there's two markets. We have the startup market, those people starting a business. It's really useful at that stage. Um, the problem there is I don't think people fully understand how challenging it is, no matter what idea that they have, how challenging it is to um, make it successful. You know, you have to do a lot of advertising, etc., in one way, shape or form. And unless what you say is, you know, important, you're not going to fly. So I find that young businesses haven't felt the pain yet. So they um when i present it yes they, they can see it they want it but the, the majority of people converting and using the program are people that have plateaued that have been through a few years and have gone oh yeah i i can now see i might have started off with a nice you know energetic boom and they're away and then a few years later gone oh it's not turning out how, how i'd hoped to and they're all starting to read more look around so they really respond to it and jump onto the program um and uh I do fear that it's a, a lot of the people starting out that should be doing it that aren't, you know, and that's why I've got to produce a lot of content and walk the talk and, you know, I've got a book and da-da-da and um, increasingly getting out there and, you know, shouting about it to make a noise and um, make them aware because it's just it's just so tragic. I can tell you in the 15 years from around 2000 to 2017, I would have helped hundreds of businesses and I thought about it the other day when someone asked me the question most of them aren't around you know it's just and I don't want to see a world full of you know safe ways and you know m mega big company you know companies and less choice for all of us so I think yeah absolutely because you know, you're absolutely right about that. There's always a grand opening. Uh, you go to a grand opening party and then there's a grand closing party three weeks later because <laughs> they would have spent all their money, um, you know, buying cocktails and expensive liquor and did not put money 
uh, back into the brand. Now, yeah. obviously, with the way things are going on, Peter, um, when it comes to branding and us really gravitating towards the fact that people buy from those they know, like, and trust, is it really crucial to brand your business or to create a personal brand and then maybe morph them into one thing? Or w which way is the best strategy to take according to um, your experience and what you've noticed along the, the, the times? I think more and more the personal brand is really important to sort of lead. Um, I mean, you're a classic example. Your, your online presence is, you know, I, I see it everywhere. And it works for you, right? Absolutely. And what you sell is secondary. And that's how you think and that's what you believe. And it, it works. And so I really... I'm, I'm with you on that. I think the personal brand um, is really important. I, th I think you need to position yourself as a thought leader in your space. You have to be, you know, really, truly the thought leader, uh, passionate about what you do, and then, yeah, people will follow and you'll sell after that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So with your tool here, you go, um, you walk people through an eight step process. Maybe you can just point us towards maybe the first four steps. What is it that actually would be done in, in the strategy, um, you know, creation when, when somebody engages with the tool? The first step is purpose or why. So I guess in about 2007 or eight, when, when uh, Simon Sinek came out with that, um, Start with why. that's probably what really inspired me. We, we were looking for um, a way to, uh, the starting point for a business in our uh, workshop for differentiation. It could have been vision, you know, it could have been understanding the target market, could have been what, what position do you want in the market, but we thought, after seeing that, we thought, no, it's purpose. And, and we did a lot of research around purpose and how purpose-driven companies are much more successful, et cetera, et cetera. So when we were convinced on that, we made purpose the first step. So after that, the second step dives into, um, well, you target market and then it builds out a comprehensive buyer persona, um, which is sort of, again, it's on steroids. It's quite, it's, it's a, really we get into what changed in their life uh, that made them want to search for your product. So you've got to get an understanding of that. You know, what are the will buys? What are the must haves? What are the roadblocks and all those sort of things. So really understand the market because we're so good at selling what we do um, and talking about our widget or whatever, where you need to get into the, the mind and the language of your buyer to be able to, um, repurpose their words and use that in your marketing and advertising so we build up a comprehensive picture of the buyer then the third step is what is the position in the market you know your purpose you know your buyer so come up with a positioning statement uh, and that can be you know the value prop and a few things in that exercise right down to mind share and then we back that up with um values but in the in the exercise we call it pillars um again we, we don't just uh say come up with three pillars and, and it sounds good we actually get you to then decide how are you going to embed those pillars into your business how are you what actions are you going to take uh that reinforce the pillars at every step so you know the the customer experience um is is true the whole way through the journey etc so they're just the the first four steps Absolutely, because obviously if you know exactly where you're headed to, people are always looking for uh, you know, uh, leaders to follow. And if your values align with those people, it really, really um, makes it easy for them to, you know, because like really does attract like. And um, like you have also mentioned that if you can articulate uh, your customers' problems better than they can themselves and see things yes. on eyes and say it in their own words you they are more than likely to think that you can solve 
their problem. So I can totally see how this can actually structure, um, you know, the way moving forward because a lot of people are spending money on tactics, gimmicks, and shiny objects that are being thrown out on the market every Friday or every Black Friday. And they think that, you know, having an expensive saddle will make the horse win the race. If the horse is a shitty horse, then yeah. obviously it's not going to work out there. Now, how can people get a hold of this uh, program there, Peter? Um, you know, given the extensive, you know, just the four parts of it would actually make somebody have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. How about the rest of the eight? You want to know the rest of the eight? No, 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 no. I was just saying, how can yeah. people get oh. Well, yes, we're at uh, www.plan uh, and the number two and then brand, uh, plan to brand.com. And uh, it's a comprehensive website and it shows videos of what it looks like inside the tool and it explains a lot. Um, so, yeah, yeah, they can go there and um, read our story and uh, see, if, see if it uh, aligns with what they're thinking. I mean, uh, uh, an important thing I wanted to point out was in this customer journey area, right, where you, where you look at the customer, we challenge people to think, reflect on their business and is that what the customer wants? So it's a bit like um, creating something for the customer rather than just creating a business and trying to sell it to the customer is where we try to take people because just challenging them because it, it's so, well, as late, Humans, we're lazy and we look for the short way, oh, that'll do, you know, whereas you've got to be phenomenal today to, to stand out and, and go somewhere. So we really like to challenge in the course. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Well, at the end of the day, like you said, you know, humans are always looking for something that's cheaper, faster, better. But if you can articulate it and really show them you're the right kind of person for that, it, it will make a world of difference in their world. Um, obviously, that, 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 is, that is absolutely uh, appreciated, your time and your expertise um, you know, on the show today. Is there anything that, since we're getting into the new year, that you might just want to either warn or advise our audience as to what to expect or what to do or what not to do in the new year when it comes to um, their brand and how they can actually structure or reach out to their customers there, uh, Peter? Um, look, I, th I think if, if people are thinking about growing a business, um, I, I just want to say today, I think what you say is more important than what you sell. The message you have is much important and if you think about that and, and in relation to your business so that when you blog, when you produce content, what you say resonates, is, is really important to the target market despite what you sell. So what is the problem you're solving in the industry? Go there and solve it in a unique way. Look, look in your industry and go, it, it's wrong. We should be doing things this way and, and stand up for yourself and go and do it your way. And, um, that that's that's how you'll you'll fly that's what i think absolutely that is a wonderful nugget because a lot of people are out there selling hoping that the customers are going to buy whatever they sell and they're hoping i mean spraying and praying with their marketing <laughs> and not, actually, not actually providing value because people are coming to the internet to get information so if your brand is not providing that information then how are they going to know you how they're going to like you and how are they going to trust you so i do advise that um you take time and uh, take a look at the, the online tool one of its kind on the market uh the plan to brand tool that peter has come up with um so that you can you know ease down on the tactics and work a lot more on the strategy so that you can actually create for and relate to those you're going to be demanding money off of now peter i can't thank you enough for your time your level of expertise and you know your knowledge that you just dropped on the show today uh, it's been my pleasure really has absolutely thank you so much sir okay Thank you.